Hello everyone. Uh, for my final project, I'll be evaluating the impact of mining, both underground and surface mining, on the landscape of Pike County, Kentucky. Uh, Pike County is the largest county in Kentucky in terms of land area and one of the leading counties in the country for coal production. So there are currently five coal companies that are operating within this county. And this first image you see here is a Landsat 5 image of Pike County um, that was taken in 1997. This image was pulled from USGS and it's the easternmost corner of Pike County, Kentucky. For my final presentation in my storyboard, I'll be focusing on the entirety of the county, but for the small presentation, I wanted to focus on this little corner as I felt that the changes that we'll discuss here are indicative of larger land use and land cover changes that can be observed for the county as a whole. Based on my research, this area isn't really residential. Um, there is a small city directly to the west of this image, but there does not appear to be much residential development within the scope of this image. Um, instead, these white spaces or bare areas represent surface mining locations. In comparison, this is a Landsat 8 image of the same, er same area taken in 2020. You can see that vegetative land cover has increased substantially and that there is significantly less bare ground. Uh, there are some sparse areas still, but in general, we're seeing an increase in tree cover. And I think that this is indicative of decreased mining in Kentucky as a whole. According to data collected by the Kentucky Office of Energy Policy and the Kentucky Geological Survey, um, between 2000 and 2013, uh, about a third as many tons of coal were produced produced. So in 2000, there were 34 million tons of coal produced, while in 2013, only about 10 million tons were produced in Kentucky. And so here is a unsupervised classification of my Landsat 5 image. I used five classifications. Both shades of green represent forest. The gray is bare ground, tan is urban, and blue is water. And then here is my unsupervised classification of my Landsat 8 image. In both images, there are some misclassifications. You can see a lot of blue where there is not actually water. Um, frequently shaded mountain relief was misclassified as water. So you can see that the blue actually straddles the topographical elevation changes of the mountain ranges within this area. Uh, and then here is my change image of my unsupervised classifications. You can see larger red splotches indicating change in the center of this image. I believe that these are accurate and represent the increase in tree cover that you could observe in the Landsat images, while some of these smaller uh, sort of spots of red um, don't really reflect land change as much as differences in the shading of mountains between the two Landsat images. Regardless of um, this apparent decrease in surface mining in the county and increase in vegetative cover, um, there are many legacy impacts of mining, including those to public health and environmental contamination. So I hope to leverage these maps and additional maps to target a general audience, regulatory agencies, and environmental groups to highlight that while increased vegetative, vegetative cover is great, there's more to this story than just these um, sort of surface changes.